Your name is on my list. Hello, it's your big titty goth girlfriend Midnight. And today is Tuesday. No, it's Monday. Anyway, it's not Saturday, but we're still gonna play some event. I know I'm a bit late with this. It's probably going to be Tuesday when you're watching this. Uh, but yeah, we got a we had a little stream on uh, Saturday. If you watched this, yeah, a tournament play, clean win for us. And so yeah, yesterday I was a bit busy. So today, we are doing the regular event video. A bit late, but I still hope that will help you. But we're gonna make it a bit different. I didn't play this event at all yet. I I don't know what's good and what's not. Uh, all I know are the warlords which are available. So for the loyalists, um, we have here the under the Saturn, under the Saturnine Gate. Yeah, for the loyalists we have. Ayura agents, we have uh, Dwarkle Dawn for the Imperial Fists, and we have Enrit Ha. Already three very strong warlords, in my opinion, for the draft. And on the uh, Chaos side, so traders, we have Abaddon, uh, then two troops. So anyway, we have Abaddon. Forget the other two, they are trash, I can tell you. But we have four good options here. So Abaddon probably takes the cake, I think. Uh, because of his ability, he can kill turrets, he can kill the uh, epic assassins of the uh, Agents of the Sigilite. How to draft Sons of Horus, you already know it. We had a sense, uh, we probably had a Sons of Horus draft already, yeah, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's the Evan deck. Uh, but yeah, you want the tactics pitch deal damage, you want the good value troops. Sons of Horus have the best, in my opinion. And that's basically it. Vengeful Spirit is a must have. Melakur, Sergator Ghost. All very good veterinaries. You can skip on uh, second wave and on the Punisher, but the other three are very good. And besides that, as mentioned, maybe one or two alt flanks and just draft a good curve and the good troops and the damage tactics. That's basically it. So that would be Abaddon. Then we, of course, um, have the agents. The agents are a bit more tricky to draft. In my opinion, you really want the epics here. The legendaries are not that important, uh, besides Mishan, probably. Mishan is. In, um, in the event format to kill her. But besides that, you probably really want to the assassins, so covered operative, Aristotel, and what's his name, Ganymus, and of course, Sigilite's Chosen. That's the whole recipe for the agents. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. You just, uh, they, you probably want some Siege Generation, but really, Michelle wins you games. The assassins are insane value, and of course, Sigilite's Chosen is a busted card. And then, of course, Imperial Fists. I'm not going to uh, explain the Imperial Fists again, or will I? Yeah, maybe just briefly, in case you didn't watch any of my event videos yet. The Imperial Fists, we have Dawn here. He is not very good as a Warlord. But, um, yeah, how oh, you win with the Fists, you establish early board control. You really want the free drops of Fortification Master, before for the Outpost, Castro, Sergeant, Amand. These are very good. Uh, one or two Stalwart Defenders. Prime Legendary is Jesse C. Gunfrey. This is the one you really want. Maybe one Retribution. Uh, second best legendary is Sergeant Amand, closely followed by Heranburg, which helps you. Uh, where is it? Yeah, which helps you establish early board presence. And yeah, that's basically it. Like you take the board with the fists, you hold it, and then you just win by snowballing with your turrets, because the turrets in the event format kind of win. And we don't have Campeteers here, thankfully, but Rogaldon can do just fine, and he is quite tanky, so maybe he can do something. Not not the best pick, I think, but also a solid one. And at last but not least, we got, um, what were the last? We had Abaddon on the Chaos side, and Loyalist were in Pilfus. Ah yeah, and Ritar. Also not a very good Warlord for the event format in my opinion. Because you can't, uh, you can't build your deck around him pretty, uh, that, that easily. But, um, yeah, Offense of War have a very good card pool. They're very, very versatile, have very good cards, have one of the best legendaries in the game, like Cadmus Tyro. Probably Prime here. Uh, closely followed by Bastantiov and Baron Neff. Also very good cards. And besides that, just throw the good stuff. Good stuff is basically, yeah, how do I explain it? Like the good Offensive War stuff. Return Kahane is a very good card, you know. Um, yeah. Oros Ludric, maybe one or two Shoulders, Ashen Claws, and so on. Like here, also just draft a very good mid range deck. Try to have a good, nice curve with the value um, Offensive War troops. And yeah, that's basically it. I don't know how I would rank them. I still think Abaddon takes the cake. And he's closely followed by um, Iota, because, well, agents are insane and can win you games on the spot with Mishan. And Dorn is not a very good warlord, but has a very good card pool. Same goes for Andrita. So I'm probably going to go here with Abaddon. And then I'm going to follow up if I don't have it, Iota. I played Iota though already in the event, so. Maybe we'll pick Har or uh, because I don't want to play Fists. So it's going to be Abaddon or Andrew Har here for me. Um, 
let's just jump into the draft and see how it goes. Okay, um, this is looking terrible, to be honest. So here we got the two bad uh, things. This is the Termite Assault Drill. It's a slow Constantine Veldor. Okay, you can choose the troop, but still, yeah, it's kind of here to fix the curve. Um, yeah, not that bad. I mean, one damage to all enemies for two. It's like Cassian Vaughn, but he doesn't have a survivor. So, yeah, we had so many Imperial Fist drafts. I'm probably gonna go with Ayura here. You know, I'm very familiar with her. And probably gonna pick her. But before we start, um, I need to equip a card pack for psychological damage. Let's, let's just take Ayura here, you know. Where do I get her? Yeah, yeah I got a top 10 card pack with her. So, let's pick her. And let's go ahead and pick Ayura. So, here we go. Oh, very funny. <laughs> okay, uh, this is this is not good. Like the, these two are good. Uh, Chambers is not very good. Here we have uh, an okay card, a very good card, and Termatro. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, I don't know. Like Sword of Truth is really good though. In a Chambers, not here we have very two very good cards. Here also one good card, two mediocre cards. Probably gonna go with that. So what do we have here? Peltas. Do they do something? Yeah, they kill Mashan. They kill enemy Mashan. So very good card here. There's also a very good card. Probably Aki also insane. Um, yeah, this is an easy two. What do we have here? Mercado Circle. I'm not gonna pick Knight Warren because if the enemy has like a Mashan and turns into Thaz, I'm basically dead. Uh, there's also Mercado Circle also dies to Abaddon. Mm, Motor Carrier. This card is weird. Another Bjarki. As usual, I don't want to roll too much. You know, I could roll for days, but I want to make this look more accessible to you folks who maybe don't have that many gems. So, yeah, this is still kind of the best. I don't know, I'm gonna roll here. I don't think... The cards are good, but oh, look at that. So you have an assassin. Gaze of the region might come in handy, like with Iota we can disable something for three turns. And this is like a, just a good body and I don't have a six drop yet, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Um... Healer is not bad. Angelic's Presence. I don't know, kind of a death card. Kula is not bad, and Melkodos Veteran is also not bad. This, yeah, I don't really need that. Mm. Let's pick this one. I think it's fine. Melkodos Circle, Oath of Moment, and Ganymus. So, again, these two cards are not very good. This this is a good one, but it just dies to Abaddon. So, I don't know. Ganymus, Ganymus is prime, but what do we have here? This again. I might pick this again. Because Bjarki is insane. The Peltas can deal with Mashan and this is just a good troop. So yeah, let's pick this again. I'm not gonna take it again though. Um This looks good. This is not a very good troop, it's just a six energy six six basically. I don't think I will ever draw seals. Um and these two are fine. Going with that. Um, I like this one. A lot of healing. We're gonna need that. And the Ganymus. Ganymus is a very good troop. Especially here in the event format. So going with that. Um, execution Force doesn't really work. Again, this one. Like, how many BOs do I have? Two. Bros. Not, this is... I confused the names already. Um, yeah, this is not so good. Now the Council Informant might come in handy. How many tactics do I have? Four. I don't have a single 3-3 um, three, three Assassin. No chance. That's kind of sad. I think I'm gonna roll here. I don't want the third Broad Tiffinger. And another Council Informant is also awkward. This is trash. I'm gonna roll here. Let's see if we can get something better. So this again. Another Aristotic Hell. I'm gonna take him. Case of the Regent again. And Veritas, Veritas Eisen. And this guy who can give kind of attack. Yeah, let's pick it. Another Teleman Hidden War and Regular Vita. Do I really want that? I don't know. I, I think I'm, th this is a good one. Like Hidden War with. I have like. This will be my third Teleman, right? Mm. With Hidden War, this will be really good. And the Vita. If he's not being dealt with. I don't have many tactics to support him though. And I really want uh, Sigilize Chosen at least once. I could risk a roll here. 
I also don't want more late game to be honest, so give me something better. Here we go, covered operative. Another sigil and yeah, another six drop. But yeah, this gives me another early game option, another heal, and yeah, just another six six. So whatever, I'm not gonna roll here. I really want the covered operative, a very good card. So going with that. And what's our last legendary? Um, it's gonna be sort of truth again, I guess. These two, I'm not gonna even gonna look at that. So yeah. Uh, I mean, I, <laughs> I can play the turn 1. Uh, this is just a 4 drop, I guess. I need one. And another sort of truth, so another nuke. Having 2 is fine. Not too happy about the draft, but let's see how it works. I mean, what's gonna be my plan? So, hopefully, not draw this. And besides that, I got an okay curve, to be honest. Um, This might work. I really have. Seal synergy, which isn't good, to be honest. Who knows, maybe we can make it work once or twice. Um, let's jump into the first one. Alright, that's a Dawn. Um, that's an easy mulligan, to be honest. Keeler is a very good start. Uh, nothing to play, so just gonna charge, so to say, my ability. Uh, Kilo into operative is very strong. I like that. I also probably want to face Bash against Dawn because, well, you know, I got two sort of truth in my deck. This should work, right? <laughs> That's perfectly fine. Does he have a flanker? Okay. And he buffs the turret with the uh, counter attack. Yeah, Kestros is a problem, obviously. Um, and he has Stalwart on Curve, yeah. He's gonna play that. Well, let's do that. This is already looking really bad, to be honest. Because now he just plays Stalwart on Curve. This is like <laughs> a fucking constructed opener. So his play is probably Stalwart and kill you pretty killer. I see absolutely no reason not to do that, to be honest. I don't know what he's thinking, like that's the obvious play here. Set up Stalwart, get rid of Kila. Kila is a threat. Also don't need that, that's just the 3 energy 3-3 three, three here. No more chance for us, no. Okay. So what I wanted to say, no more chance for us, and did he do that because he didn't want to get 5 damage? I don't know. Um, so let's do that, and this card is not that useful against them anyway, against the fists. So let's do that, next turn I get Ganymus. Um, what I wanted to say, we have no Machan, this would be a key card. We have no Sigilized Chosen, also a key card. But I think this still might work. <laughs> we'll probably not be at 12 and run, but we will see. Here's the Stalwart Defenders. Should have just done it until the last turn, I don't know. And that's very good. Now we can set up Ganymus and Face Bash against the Dorn. Okay, that's quite useless. Thankfully no Phanalynx Defenders. It's sort of been uh, super annoying. Okay, uh, Turfinger. I like Turfinger actually. I can clear his spot with Turfinger, so... You go here. I'm just gonna use my ability to save to health and shoot it. What do we get? Pax Imperialis. Oh, yeah, that was trash. Oh, yeah. That was my only Ganymus. Ooh, that's a top deck. Um, Salt Echelon, I guess. Let's just charge my ability. 
I mean, I could have just face bashed and kept, kept it for assault echelon, but Yaki will kill it next turn. I'm quite certain. Mm, no, he top decks the fucking wall. Uh, yeah, but I got another Bjorki. Um, should I pick Defender of Terror? No, I still think he's gonna play. Well, let's pick the Defender of Terror. You know, I think he he's he's doing a pretty good job at playing around my stuff. So and this might be it. God damn it. Fucking nine damage echelon. Um I'm gonna heal my dude. How much do I have on board? Fourteen. Yeah, if I guessed Echelon these guys would be really big right now, but um let's see. I could play console informant. Just use my ability here, go face, and then I have two sorts of troops in my deck and not many tactics. So... I think that's actually the play here. Like, okay, he plays Defender of Terror now. But, and tra trades here, and that's it. I can just... Uh, draw a sort of truth, I think. Because dealing with that crap... Yeah, miss me. Wait, what? He has two defenders of Terra. Well, even better, I made that decision, right? Just wait, bro. Yeah, there. That's actually smarter because of damage. Okay. Here we go. As planned. And first game goes to us. And another Dawn. If I keep seeing so many Dawns... I think... Um, yeah, that's terrible. There's my early game. Ah, uh, goddammit. So, anyway... If there are so many Dawns, I think... Agents are actually the best against them because you know there's also a seal of sisterhood. And I'm not drawing anything. Fuck my left dude. Hero's ability is just not very good here, you know. And again, Castro's on curve, dude. What the fuck? Could have kept my ability, but. What the hell, man? Uh, I'm slightly pissed, not gonna lie. Yeah, he has kind of tech anyway, so... Whatever. Mm, he has Keeler. So, let's play Keeler and give Kant attack to Dorn. <laughs> Missed the 50-50. Very unfortunate. Okay, at least one useless card. So, let's shoot it. Yeah, that was a throne secret. And again, it's fucking it. What the fuck is this turret, man? Oh, boy. I hate Imperial Fist events. And Primitral on Curve. Poof. Just trade, man. It's not that hard. Alright. I'm gonna shoot a turret. And play a veteran. Alright, that's fine. Next turn we got Bjorki. Unless he has Fanlings as well. Please don't. 
Got 10 damage in hand. Get a gravity cannon here. Okay. Holy fuck, dude. That's insane. Um, well, not much to do here. Yoki. Uh, I think he's gonna play a cheap retribution, doesn't he? Whirlwind? Oh, Whirlwind. You know, I attack here and probably... I think it's gonna be the Whirlwind because I attack here. And maybe something hits it. So he's gonna play the Whirlwind. Yeah, this is definitely a Whirlwind. I think I guessed right. I'm gonna seal it with the Sword of Truth, I think. Oh man. Why did I agree to play this? Death sets. Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's play another Bjorki. And 45 outpost, I guess. Okay, good. And he has also Star Wars Defenders. This is fucking obnoxious, man. Okay. Okay, what do we do here? I obviously need to kill that. And kill a turret, so I'm gonna kill a turret. I'm gonna kill that. I'm gonna play this, actually. And give Khan Detect to Dawn. Ouch. Still have some healing, but... Let's see if we can do it. Holy fuck. Yeah, he also whirlwind, as expected. No. No. Okay. Okay, okay. We got this. So... Sort of truth. You kill the turret. And unfortunately I'm gonna have to heal, heal myself here. Instead of Bjorki. But, well, he just needs two hits and I'm dead. I can't make that happen. And Stalwart Defenders again. Okay, rip. He still has a retribution, so I might bait it here with inner chambers, you know. This retribution he has an end. Oh, nice. So I think this is better if he kills that instead of Ganymus. Subtext command bridge. And here's the attribution as expected. I'm fine with that because now I can set up Ganymus. Um, actually, let's play full energy so angelic presence to heal myself. Archives and Ganymus. Okay. Oh my fucking god, what's that gonna be? Captain Alexandra twice. Okay. And also double stalwart, eh? 12 health. Oh, look at that. So yes, reckoning in hand and another Captain Alexandra. 
you would have thrown seven damage. Um, six, eight, fifteen. Yeah, I'm a bit off. So let's kill Captain Alexandra. Yeah, yeah. I oh, know I can't kill him. Um, should have played safe. He needs to top take one damage, right? Oh, god damn it. I mean, I could play it safe and just heal myself here. Oh boy, I don't know. I think I'm gonna risk it. Fuck it. I'm not gonna play it safe. So unless he top decked one damage, I'm fine. And this is gonna have to be a whirlwind. If it's not a whirlwind, I'm fine. This don't have access to that much damage. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. You gotta trade, bro. You gotta trade. Okay. Dodge it. I don't know why I shot the um, Captain Dixandros there, but you know, shit happens. What a game. Lucky I top decked the fucking seal before. Holy crap. Oh, god damn it. That's an annoying mirror. Oh, this is looking good though. Gonna keep it. Just need something to follow up Keeler. And that would be great. <sighs> mm, almost. So, let's play Council Informant. Can't attack. Okay. Hmm. I'm still gonna play Keeler and do this. I wonder why I didn't give it precognition. Could have survived. Playing Keeler here because I don't list the front line. Okay. Oh, that's a card. Let's face bash. Good thing I picked this shit, eh? Oh. That turn? Nice. And pre cook that. He doesn't have any seals in the stack yet, so whatever. Alright. Uh, conscript? Or kill? I think kill. Yeah, I'm gonna take the damage here. Don't care that much. And let's go face. Could have killed this probably. Yeah, whatever. He still trades. Melkid for okay. Is that it? And that's it. Okay. Bro here. And I'm gonna shoot him for seven here. Oh I am an idiot. Uh I was one off. Fuck it. Would have died next turn anyway. Yeah, that was idiotic from me.
Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's play Keela with the conscript. And face push again. I am misplayed here. Again. I don't know what's wrong today with me. Uh but yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit annoying. Can I still kill him? I like your tricks. Uh, thank you. Uh, I can still kill him, yeah. True. Hey, you're the mirror. And I'm going second. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna mulligan that. Peltas, if he has Mishan, but I'm hopefully I'm going second, so... I will have to attack into whatever Mishan becomes and then do that, so... We yeah, all hide whatever. behind a mask. Some of us just do it better than others. So does he have it? He doesn't. Okay. New loyalty. Not much good stuff from my deck mode, bro. Don't worry. Let's play the archives. Pretty bad, but who knows? Maybe this will be another lucky seal. Oh, God damn it! So should I peltest? Probably. Uh, I'm gonna take the jam. It's more important. Can't attack, and I'm just gonna do that. Oh. Okay. Please don't have such lights chosen. Man. Yeah, that sucks a bit. So let's play around Tellyman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, going second is really not that great in this matchup. Might be a problem. So let's play the veteran. Not much else to do. Still not a single son of Horus. Okay, something else? No. Good. So, Peltas. Council Informant. Angelic Presence. And well, let's attack that. Hopefully this can draw me a seal, I have really not many tactics in my deck. Yeah, here's the Ganymus. So I have a seal of sisterhood in my deck. This might be pretty good. He shoots the Peldust, okay. Okay, gimme. Easy. Everything is planned. So, attack here. Attack here. Gonna sigil myself and trade. Okay, not too shabby. Council informant MVP, boys. If I kill something again. Uh, here's the machine. 
He has it. Just not in his starting hand. Okay, okay. Oh, that's a top deck. Uh, let's heal this one. Oh, let's draw a card. Um, not a sort of truth. And charge my ability. Okay. Okay, okay. So five, six, seven, eight. Eight plus three is eleven. Plus five is sixteen. That's lethal. Bam. All right, pretty cool. MVP, console informant. Finally, never done. I'm gonna keep the three drop. We all hide behind the mask. Yeah, well, For the war master. I'm just gonna play it as a bait, I guess. Maybe this way you can't play something with two energy. Damn. Abaddon's gonna be really hard. Yeah, not gonna. Should I play the Peltists here? Sure, whatever. I don't think it matters. Like, almost everything I play has 3 health. I'm also not gonna face bash here, he has so many cards in hand. Holy shit, what's that? Jewel of Ultramar, okay. Slightly annoying. Um, let's play Kilo. I'm gonna hold this back, because he just kills it with his ability. And if Kilo stays alive, I can buff it. Yeah, never mind. But I still got a decent play here, I think. Turfinger. And you. Get a couple seals, so this dies again, but... Whatever. I'm gonna keep face bash a bit. I don't think I can win the control game here. Malkid was server. Negative synergy, by the way, with <laughs> Jeweler Food from up. Okay. Uh, very good. Big guy. So now I just need to go seal so this gets buffed. Oh boy. Okay. Should I just scan him as? Yeah. Trade here. Scan him as. And shoot. Gonna have to keep Ganymus back a bit, unless he gives me a favorable trade. <laughs> Fucking Watcher. What? <laughs> and I. Oh no. Oh man, this sucks ass. So let's do that. Sort of truth. I uh, can't play it. So let's attack. And let's heal it. So maybe he misplays here or something, I don't know. Fucking watch it, dude. I didn't pay attention to which seals I have in my deck. Oh, come on. I 
That's the second one already. that. Draw a card. Chambers. Mm. And Skoda. Gonna keep this around. So we can like trade. Usability or trade. And jam this again. Oh man. This is so annoying that I wasted my Peltist. Ah. But well... Ooh, whoa! Okay. But well, no one expected this. If he jams, this is actually fine. Then it's just a 510. So I'm gonna kill this. Secret of Unification. Hmm. Can't say I'm happy about it. Holy fuck. Sarah got her ghost? Oh my god. <gasps> it, it doesn't work in structures, right? Secret of Unification. Okay. Okay. He also doesn't use that. Holy fuck. This is insane. <laughs> Um, okay, let's do that, and give that gaze. Throne, okay. <laughs> I mean, holy shit. Yeah, I forgot it doesn't work on structures, it's only... Yeah, not structures. Why? Works on vehicles, why not on structures? Yeah, whatever. Oh, okay. Okay. Secret of the throne. So get unification and throne. Next turn this transforms into a greater demon. So let's do the following. Let's do that. Unification. Ah yeah, I should have picked this one. It's 7 damage. Misplay city boys. And kinda take on that. So this transforms, it gets fatigue. Summoning fatigue. And that's okay. Dies to that though. I'm still shielded. What a game, holy fuck. Another two ghost. He needs to trade here. Yeah. 
that's actually a mistake. Because next turn it will get summoning fatigue again. And I still have my shield. So. Mm, I'm gonna play Kel. I'm gonna play this dude as a distraction. And that's it. Yep, okay, he needs to kill me this turn. But problem is this transforms, get summoning fatigue. And he has pretty switch he can attack, I'm still shielded. I don't think he can do it. Inner chambers, holy fuck. Actually it didn't work here. Yeah. Would have guessed. Okay, he kills that. This jams. Could have just cleared it now. So unless he has, I don't know, manifest destiny or some crap. I'm done. Oh boy. What an insane game. He, he actually deserved to win, I'll be honest. I, I played that really badly. I misplayed because the tank. I uh, I got lucky with the seals. Holy crap! But yeah, that's just the game. All right, boys. I'm at 11-0. It was a more or less smooth run, as expected. Um, Everdon was the biggest problem so far. Um, One Dawn gave me a bit of a hard time. They always have Star Wars on curve. I don't know how. Always into primitive defenses. But still, I was able to do it. So MVP so far. Um, well, let's actually do it after the video. Let's face our boss, the, the final boss. Oh, it's an Abaddon again. I'm gonna mulligan all of that. Ooh, what the fuck? Is his name Nomad Iten Intensity? Nomad Intensity. Okay. We all hide um, mask. terrible. For the war and this time, I'm not gonna throw away my secretary peltists. I'm gonna hopefully keep him for something funny. It was a pretty bad starting hand, but... Let's see. Just gonna shoot him, as mentioned, not gonna play the peltists. Slow and steady, boys. Slow and steady. Alright, let's give it kind of attack. So next turn I can shoot him with Bro. A really bad start here. But yeah. So let's do that. That clears this board. And next time we can get him as Okay. Okay, you got a little dude. Uh, but here's the real deal. Ganimus. Terror hounds. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't. Give them kind of attack, that would be pretty cool. So let's just play the conscript. Angelic presence. So hopefully he doesn't have Chariot of the Gods. It's a common, so he very likely has it. Yeah, seems like it. Oh, damn it. Rip Ganymus. But I've still got bought by Bjarkis. Bjarki is the real MVP. And <laughs> yeah, well here he is. Uh Fate's death, I guess. I mean 
mean, this is what he would play on curve. Although he probably shoots this and plays something for 6 or something. So a bit of a bad guess here again from me. Yeah, I should have picked that. In the chambers. Uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna do this. Attack. Heal and get a shield. And play a 6-6. Six, six. Shield ward. With the possibility of getting buffed. I think that's the right play. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. Alright, in the chambers. In the chambers, do your work. My administratum is not that good. Biaki is really a killer for Abaddon. You can't do shit to him. Okay, that's a card. Oh, let's sort of truth it. I could also face bash and brawl, but I don't want to take seven to be honest. Oh, let's attack. Heal him up. Play the archives. And smack. Again, administratum seal. Yeah, it doesn't matter though. It basically just drawing me cards. Game will be over before that, and Bjarki fucking carries once again. Smoke grenade on what on me? Fine. Uh, what else does he get? Second wave. Okay. What does that do? Next to protect it costs zero. Hmm. So six. Nine. Yeah, it's not quite lethal. Um. So let's play Bra. Let's do that. Doombringer. Uh, get this one. And should I trade? Nah. We don't need to trade. Yeah, and here the seals are coming. In the chambers, holy fuck. Not as bad as I expected it to be. Here it is, finally. Yeah, but this should be game. So have zero, ladies and gentlemen. So have zero. Oh man, that was smooth as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. 12 0 Ayura. So, what I wanted to say uh, MEPs here, like really, every game really good. Um, Kel, as I said before, Covered Operative was fine, but with those Hitler's chosen, it's not that great. Really wish I had it here instead of like this crap. Never found. Really good play, it was just a vanilla 6 6 or a vanilla 4 4. So, really crafty assassins. Um, healer, only like 2 or 3 games. If she stays alive, it's just insane. It's just like in the release event. She was more insane during the release event, but here she's even better. Uh, Ganimus, really good. Just no was out of control if you can kill him, and in the event, people don't always have answers. Um, Purva Bjarki, also really good. These are fine too. Really good cuts. But Budwa Bjarki, the Assassins, and the Free Keeler, these are the ones which really did it for me. Um, 12 0, not too bad. Let's check the chests. Uji Och. Why should I restrain my power? Alright. Melacurst. Small act can change the course of things. I have a full collection, so I. I'll be honest, I don't really care about this. But I'm still missing some emotes. Give me those emotes. So much hate. Hardship 
will become a sweet memory. I mean, two legendaries so far, right? Yeah, he is a man, Bjorki. Oh, yeah. Covered operatives, also sweet. Very good card. Yeah, third legendary. Archamus. Ooh, and Gunfrey. Two legendaries in one chest. Sweet. Not too bad. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Probably just gentlemen. And this was about today's run. Pretty good. 12 0 with my girl Iota. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I still think Abaddon takes the cake, but as you see, I think in this event you, you can pr pretty much take everything except. Well, except the drill. Don't take the drill. And the other sense of forest due to Terminator or whatever that is, or Dreadnought, Duracast, or whatever it's called. But yeah, I hope this gives you an idea how to play the agents, how to rock with Iota. Don't worry, you can take the others as well. As mentioned, I still think Abaddon takes the cake. Imperial Fist is also very good if you have Star Wars and Curve all the time. You know, we have, but we had so many Imperial Fist drafts and I don't really like Dawn. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Being the cringe YouTuber I am now, I have to say it, you know. Some people told me I need to say it so I get more subscribers. Let's see how it works out. <laughs> Not that I care, I don't get any money, but uh, still. Anyway. Feel free to check out the other stuff on my channel, more event gameplay. So then we also have tech guides for later. I'm also taking community requests. So if you want me to build a deck around your wallet of choice, your favorite wall, but you just can't make broken letter, let me know in the comments. I queue them up and then soon you will see a video of him. And also don't forget the World Cup videos if you're interested in some competitive play. If you have the time, I'm also streaming from time to time for a couple hours, usually during the tournaments. It's also quite fine. You can find them on my channel if you're interested. And well, that was enough of the outro. I hope to see you in the next video or stream. And until then, midnight out.